Hey y'all, Half Mile Sniper here, and we are not on the range today. We're going to be taking care of some preventative maintenance here on a Mrs. Half Mile Sniper's ride. So, sit back, kick your feet up, enjoy the ride. Huh, I wonder if those can be targets. Alrighty, so let me uh, put some stuff down while we uh, get ready and uh, bring you up to speed here in a second. Alrighty, so that has us up on the chalk. Emergency brakes off. All I did was mash the clutch to let it roll forward a little bit so we can get the pressure on the uh, wheel chalk. And we're going to go ahead and get jacked up here. Huh. So it's been a busy weekend. I uh, did a little PM on the truck yesterday but I could not bring you along because well neighbors had a, a cement pumper pumping cement and totally totally messing with the audio Well, let me uh, set the brake and break out a breaker bar. Oh, I cut myself somewhere. Interesting. Oh, yeah. Don't know where and don't know how, but it took a chunk out of my arm. Okay, so you definitely want to be using jack stands, especially if you're in wonderful California where an earthquake could hit at any time. Uh, let's see, I need to pry that up. There we go. Whew. So. They weren't dead, but they were definitely getting thin. So. Just so y'all can see, regular disc brakes, American rides, you would take a large C-clamp and press this piston back into the caliper. But these German cars, and I think some of the Japanese cars, the rear brakes adjust and stay adjusted, and you need a special spanner wrench to 
turn that in. If you try pressing it in with the, uh, with the C-clamp, you are going to mess things up. So we have to, using the wide end of this wrench, close the system well, so that the spanner pins stay engaged in the caliper piston. Kind of a pain in the rear, if you know what I mean. But once we get engaged, now we should be able to turn that in. We'll turn it slow, it'll return brake fluid back to the master cylinder reservoir. And uh, hopefully, the last time we had this serviced at the uh, shop, when the uh, turbo blew, they didn't top up the master cylinder. Otherwise, we will have a brake fluid mess leaking down. So while I'm busy turning this in, and still trying to figure out where I cut my arm, um, I want to thank each and every one of y'all for watching and liking and commenting. I really, really appreciate that. Too bad we're not on the range, but we can't always be shooting, can we? As much as we'd like to. I hope to have uh, some new merchandise in hand to show y'all. We got a uh, stainless steel hot cold insulated tumbler have a 16 ounce beer glass or iced tea glass depending on what your preferred drink is and uh, should have a, a half mile sniper sticker here soon it's the buffalo in the crosshairs so again hopefully those will be soon so I can show you they are up on the merchandise website Feel free to check it out. Link in the description below. One of the interesting things this car has uh, about 230,000 miles on it. And this is the first time the brakes have been, the rear brakes have been replaced. And they still have material left. Having never used this, Ooh, we just slipped. Must be hit the end. Hopefully, we didn't tear anything. Let's try that again. One, two. Start in. that in. There we go. Can't get those springs compressed. Okay. 
Nice. I am not a fan of starting bolts with the impact. So I just had to do a battery change and it looks like my GoPro 7 battery has just gone to crap. It's all swollen. I almost couldn't get it out of the camera. I guess we'll see if the swelling goes down once it cools off. Nice. And based off the setting on this uh, electric impact that I have, I already know that where I have it set, it's torquing these uh, lug nuts to 75 foot-pounds. I checked that when I did the front brakes a couple weeks ago. Alrighty. I'm going to move my tools to the other side. And uh, we'll drop this, uh, drop the car and change sides. Cool. Right, let me get this up under here. it down. I said ease. Well, I'll tell you what, this rigid half-inch 
battery operated impact wrench has been a good good little tool it's so nice i don't have to break out the air compressor to do little jobs like this It would have been nice to uh, use an impact on these caliper pin bolts, but there's no room between the lower control arm and the bolt heads. So I have to do it the old fashioned way. With the new fashion ratcheting a box wrench. Again, pads are thin, but they ain't to the metal yet. But let me bring the uh, the other camera over and show you how far out those that piston is. piston is out almost a full inch so we'll get it crushed in and uh, set in the new pad And we'll set us a tire. <laughs> okay, so we got one straight up. Yeah, all these uh, Volkswagen lug nuts are deep recessed into the tire, so it's not like you can really spin them in by hand. But if we're nice and easy, we can uh, be gentle and not cross the. Okay, pin covers. All righty, and we will pop that jack stand. and set her down.
So, real quick, once again, we can see we still had brake pad left, just not a whole lot. Surprisingly, to the best of my knowledge, those are factory brake pads at 230,000 miles. So, we've uh, checked the brake fluid, we've pressurized the pedal, let's go seat the brakes, take a quick drive, make sure everything's working right. Whew, warm today. Okay, so we've got the wheel chalks out, we've got the brake pedal pressurized, we checked our brake fluid, it got a little bit warm on us, we started, it was about 65 degrees, and in 45 minutes it's gotten like 90 degrees, and I started leaking sweat, so we should probably see that sweat ring grow in the, uh, in the video, so let me get it in gear here. We're going to ease out onto the road, do some gentle braking forward and reverse, and go for a quick drive. Brake pedal's feeling pretty good there. Nice. Let's we'll check the uh, parking brake. Oh, yeah. Okay, we're good. Let's go for a little drive. <sighs> so, uh, been a busy couple of weeks I apologize that I haven't been able to get to the range but they've uh, got a very large Academy class going through right now so that's kind of affecting my ability to get on the range we do have a uh, pistol match next weekend so I hope to, when I get done shooting the match, be able to step out onto the rifle range and uh, test out some of the uh, 350 Legend with the cast bullets. Um, that, or maybe get a that new scope that I won, the PFI Rapid Reticle Scope with the 1100 uh, yard. Uh, reticle uh, get that zeroed on my 5.56 hope to, hope to get something like that done and if everything goes right I might even be able to uh, do a uh, big bore air rifle I know who to who just got him a uh, Dragon Claw air rifle. I think it's a 50 caliber. Well, a buddy of mine has a uh, 45 caliber, I think it is, and he's going to bring it so I can show y'all his rifle. Okay, everything feels good with the car. I'm not hearing any strange noises. I should be getting an opportunity to break here from speed in a second. That'll be good. And uh, I'd like to take this opportunity once again to thank each and every one of y'all for watching and commenting and liking. And those of you who have subscribed, thank you much for that. I appreciate that. I mean, I'm like almost 1,300 subscribers now. And then uh, for those of y'all that are so inclined to help support the channel, there's the Half Wits crew. If you're subscribed, there should be a join button right next to the subscribe button. And uh, I think I think I said it earlier, but uh, might as well say it again. Half Mile Sniper merch, there's a link down below. 
Uh, Y'all have seen the shirts. I'm not wearing one today because I didn't want to mess it up while I was wrenching on the car. But you've seen them before. And besides the half mile sniper shirts, well, now we've got half mile sniper beer mug, half mile sniper hot cold stainless steel thermo cup, and uh, some half mile sniper stickers. So feel free to check it out. Man, I really appreciate each and every one of y'all. Thank you for uh, hanging around with me uh, while I wrenched on the wifey's car today. This be Half Mile Sniper checking out. Thank y'all. All y'all stay safe, stay armed, keep shooting, and uh, we'll catch you next time. Send it. Hit.